welcome to Magic Feather Production. I have been busy making slingshots, and I think I've gotten so good that I might sell them <laughs> locally, not online. But I'm very proud to show you one of my most recent ones that I will show you how to make. The Shrike. <laughs> the Shrike uh, is just antler. So it's somewhat of a melee weapon. See? Two stabs. I sh I, they're a little dulled because I don't want to hurt myself. It's kind of funny how you can use it if I had on a on my arm. <laughs> like Torok. Ha! Have you ever played Torok? You're missing out. <laughs> now this isn't just a uh, melee weapon. This is also a slingshot. <laughs> now I used rubber tubing because it lasts longer and it's easy to manipulate. See? That's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be getting rubber tubing, some pouch with leather. I cheated with some zip tie. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to need some antler, elk or deer, and it has to be this type, like this, in a nice V and straight down, kind of like a Y. And for this, it is just um, leather. I'm just going to show you how I made mine, and you can follow the instructions if you want. Ingredients. Some deer antler, if you have any deer antler hanging around and it's not as seasoned as this or it's uh, <laughs> elk or something like that, you might need a dremel tool or some sandpaper to uh, dremel off the hairs. Rubber tubing, some leather, zip ties, two to be exact, steel balls right here, one of these. <laughs> 332 after you use a 1 16th to make sure you don't break and crack through the other side you should drill in a bit smaller so you get an easier breakthrough with this one and then you get the bigger ones <laughs> about the same size as the tubing which I used as this. Already drilled here, okay? <laughs> okay, then you clean it out. And this hole, for a specific reason, why it's bigger, is because the hole is going to be in a cone-like slot. Because when you use it, you want this side to be small enough to have the ball not be able to go through and you want your tubing to have lots of space so it doesn't get cut through the sharp ends of the hole which you will dremel to make sure it's not sharp this is alcohol rubbing alcohol all right oh great we have a cat the rubbing alcohol will go through is tubing and everybody uses this when this method when everybody wants to get a steel ball in now that this is wet we go through the hole that we used that we just made ta-da and then we're going to put the steel ball in that little hole Ta-da! <laughs> now, since I have the steel ball in there and the rubbing alcohol dried, it's not going to come out, <laughs> which is what we want. And this is Gorilla Glue. You can use super glue or anything else. What I did was I just 
lathered the handle with um, super glue, like so. And then I wrapped it around and then I put rubber bands over here to make sure they don't come out. So it's nice and tight. Let's go shoot it. Okay, we're going to shoot the innocent roofing metal right here. Hey, look at the damage. These right here were from previous um, shots. This one right here. That is a little crazy. Wow. That might have been a marble. I'm not sure. Hey, Kuga. This little scratch up here is from one that I saw. Another hit was right here. That little scratch. That was from a granite rock, I believe. So we tested mid-range, but how about melee? <laughs> Close range. Out on this dummy right here <laughs> that my sister gave me for my birthday. <laughs> oh man, that's a sharp. No, it didn't puncture because, like I said, I shortened it. I dulled it down because I don't want to hurt myself. <laughs> and some of the defense weapons you can get uh, online and stuff like that at stores ooh, ouch, um, aren't that sharp. They're not knife sharp. They can just hurt the attacker really bad, which is what I want. <laughs> I saw one right here. Here, here, and here. That was a good attack. So, he's still alive, but he might have gotten the uh, idea that you're not supposed to rob me. <laughs> so, what do you think about my Shrike uh, slingshot? Very dense, hard, and uh, it has a decent attack from mid-range and melee. So what do you think of my Shrike? Is it deadly enough? Is it cool enough? What should I do to it? Should I modify it? Or should I sharpen it and try it on something tougher to see how well the melee attack is? Send in a comment. I would appreciate a like as well, and maybe a subscribe. Doesn't matter. I'm just here to show what I made and how you can make one. You don't have to use all these components. You can use different types of components, maybe even metal and doesn't have to be tubing. It can just be those that flat rubber. All right, that's it for today. Bye.